Hey guys, Kevin here in Japan. <clears throat> and this is like a video that you've probably seen many times over the years if you're someone who watches J vloggers. But um, it just, you know, I've, I've been in Japan for seven years. I'm not new on the scene. I've been in Asia since 2002. So, you know, I've been around the block. But, um, you know, I've met a lot of foreigners, a lot of foreigners in my time in both countries. Some amazing, some not so amazing, and it, this is kind of with regards to that. So, this is just a topic that's actually come up three or four times in the last month with coworkers when we're talking to our Japanese colleagues about the different types of foreigners that you find here in Japan and the way that certain foreigners behave and how some behave very strangely and some are really awesome. But okay, so you've come to Japan and you are here to study Japanese and you're at a language school or in a university <clears throat> you know taking Japanese language you know I think it's it's absolutely completely cool to speak Japanese to your classmates even if they're not Japanese because you're all here speaking you're all here to learn Japanese that's what you hear that's your goal but when you leave your university your classroom your language school <clears throat> and you're just like out and around out and about, out and about, <clears throat> um, and you're somewhere and you meet another foreigner who you probably figure is an English speaker like you if you're an English speaker. Don't just walk up to them and speak to them in Japanese. That's weird. Like if, if you think they're an English speaker, because there's a certain type of, of foreigner who's really obnoxious in Japan. And if you're one of those people, well, I'll call you out on it, that's obnoxious. But the, the type of person who walks into a bar or a restaurant or a club and you see other, you're from America or Canada or the UK or Australia or New Zealand or whatever it may be, you're a native English speaker, you're working on your Japanese, your Japanese is pretty good, <clears throat> you see other people you know who are English speakers and you walk up to them and just speak to them in Japanese. That's just weird, man. That's weird. It's weird and it's, it's um, obnoxious and patronizing. It's, it's the same kind of thing. I, I think an, an example, an equivalent would be many years ago. When I used to live in South Korea, when I met around the time when I met my wife, I was a uh, quite a gym rat. I was a really big guy at the time, quite stocky. So I'm like only five seven, but I was like really big. And I was like, uh, I remember this happened on more than one occasion of me like, you know, being in the gym, doing arm curls with like 40 pound, 45 pound dumbbells, and putting them down, and then having like a you know, working out and having like a Korean guy or a couple of Korean guys sitting and staring at me <clears throat> in a very kind of like aggressive way while I worked out. And then when I, guys who were smaller than me, and when I put the weights down, they'd walk up and they'd pick up that dumbbell, which was clearly too heavy for them. And they'd be like, you know, instead of doing like a proper like arm curl, they'd be like <clears throat> swinging their whole body and rocking their whole body, getting the whole kind of that kind of thing into it and just staring at me like I can do this too I'm better than you I'm better than you and that's completely what that is that's like you know when 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 a foreigner who is an English speaker and they know you're an English speaker they come up to you and they just speak to you only in Japanese and th this happened to me a couple of times I remember being one time in a, in a bar years ago with one of my friends who lives here who's been here for much longer than me and speaks Japanese extremely fluently he's Canadian as well and we were in a bar just the two of us and you know some some North American guy because he had a North American accent came into the bar and we're like hey what's up man how you doing and he just looked at us and just spoke to us in Japanese and we're like no it's okay you can speak to us in English and he just continued to speak to us in Japanese and we're like no it's okay you can speak to us in English we're speaking English here and he and he was just looking at us and just pretending he didn't understand what we were saying and spoke to us in Japanese and finally like my friend was like dude like this is really weird what you're doing can you stop it please um, you know, because you don't know that person's situation. Maybe, I mean, you know, the, the person you're, you're, you're starting a conversation with, you're speaking to in Japanese, maybe they don't speak Japanese. Maybe they've only been in Japan for a few weeks. Maybe they work at a job where they don't use Japanese. Um, maybe they use Japanese all the time and this is their opportunity to go somewhere and meet people and, and for them to take a break, a mental break, and just speak their own language. You never know. But at the end of the day, there are a lot of foreigners in Japan who are weird. And if you <coughs> are a native English speaker and you meet other people who are native English speakers and you don't know who they are or their situation and you insist on only speaking to them in ah. Japanese, it's pretty weird, man. That's pretty weird. Not cool. All right.
Kevin in Japan just yapping away. Laters.